let's talk about some must-know antibiotic medications for the NCLEX. The first one is vancomycin. This falls under the medication class glycopeptides. Vancomycin is not just a regular antibiotic. It's a strong antibiotic for strong infections. Now, there is a risk for vancomycin flushing syndrome if vancomycin is infused too quickly. So be sure to know that you must infuse it over 60 minutes. And lastly, be sure to monitor the peak and trough prior to the next dose. All right, next we have penicillin. These all end in the suffix psyllin, like amoxicillin seen here. It's important you know there is a cross-sensitivity alert with cephalosporins, meaning a patient who is allergic to penicillin may also be allergic to cephalosporins and vice versa. And last NCLEX must know is that penicillin bumps the pill. So educate your patient to use additional contraception while on this medication. All right, next up is tetracyclines. These all end in the suffix cycline like the name. The most common one is probably doxycycline. Tetracyclines are known to cause pill-induced esophagitis. So you want to educate your patients to sit upright for 30 minutes after administration. Do not lie down after taking this pill. And lastly, for our tetracyclines, they are contraindicated in kids under eight years old because it can cause tooth discoloration and during pregnancy because it impairs bone mineralization in the developing fetus. All right, next to cephalosporins. The prefix is ceph, sometimes spelled C-E-F or C-E-P-H. An example would be cefazolin, like seen here. Like I mentioned before, there is a cross sensitivity with cephalosporins and penicillin. And a very important NCLEX tip is to educate your patients, do not drink alcohol while on this medication. And lastly, we have fluoroquinolones. The suffix for this is floxacin, like ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin. There is a major risk for tendonitis while taking this medication. You can remember this by the memory trick. Your Achilles tendon or tendonitis is near the floor and can rupture due to fluoroquinolones. If you need more help with antibiotics, medications, and all things pharmacology, you can grab the pharmacology flashcards. It covers 150 of the meds you'll likely see on the NCLEX. You can grab them on my shop, Nurse in the Making, Happy Study Future nurses.